Hi guys, it's Carrie from Texas, Carrie's Corner. Want to give you an update on our koi pond that we are building in between the rain down here in Texas. So as you can see, what we're doing is we're building shelves that go down in the pond. So there's a, a base right here, which is about a foot. Over in this area right here is about two feet. The entire depth of the pool will be about three and a half feet. So we have a ledge here. We have a ledge here. We have another ledge up here, which will be a place for in-pond plants, filtration plants, as well as here and here, and potentially over there as well, because you need to have a secondary filtration system over and above our big filter and our water aerator. This is the pipe that we are going to be using to connect uh, our filtration system and so there is a trench that runs from right about that stone all the way down there'll be a 12 inch pipe that will be put down in the bottom of the pond to use um, as a protection for the fish for to avoid predators and for during the winter months um, the koi pond will have probably five or six um, floating lily pads, which will help protect it during the winter months, um, help protect the fish, of course. So that's kind of where we are. Uh, we are using current merchant, current material from over here that we're pulling up. And just this one little area from here to here did all of this rock. And then yesterday we went and we got our bigger boulders to help stack occasionally to keep our lining nice and tight. Here is our flagstone that's going to go on top of these cinder blocks and then in between those cinder blocks will be plants that um, will be in plastic containers but their root systems will be put inside the pond for additional filtration. So that's where we are today and we'll get some more done at the weekend and I will post another video then. Step six.